guys, what's up? I'm just playing my PS3 on my Mac uh, using the full screen version of EasyCap. Let me show you right now that it's full screen. There we go. Full screen EasyCap viewer using an EasyCap capture card on S Video Quality. Uh, I will show you that it is actually S Video Quality. So let me go into configure. And as you see here, the source is S Video. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, first up, let's sh I'm going to show you guys what you need and how I have it. So, we'll first begin with showing you what you need. You'll be needing a component cable for the PlayStation 3 that has the S-Video cable on it. As you see, it has the component cables, or actually the AV cables, uh, which are standard definition with the PS3. And then you have the S-Video, and then this is the port that plugs into the PS3. Also, the next thing that you'll need is the EasyCap, which also all the ports will plug right into it. All you have to do is take the S-Video and plug it into the S-Video slot of the EasyCap viewer. Or the, just the easy cap, actually. Then what you're going to need to do is plug in the red to the red. As I am trying to do here one-handedly. I apologize for struggling with it at the beginning. And then, of course, you're going to need to take the, uh, uh, the white and plug it into the white. Now, the yellow you actually don't need to do because uh, you're using S-Video quality, which is way better than the regular AV uh, yellow cable. So you actually don't need that. You can set those aside. So... Like I'm showing you here, I, you actually don't need those. So that is the end that plugs directly into the PlayStation 3. As I show, show you right here, my PlayStation 3. So then you'll take the EasyCap, which is the standard USB 2.0, and then plug it directly into your computer. So here, I'm just going to show you guys that I am plugged in directly to the PS3 with the Rocketfish cable. And then you're gonna. I took mine and plugged it into a, a USB hub. As you see here, it's a little person hub. But uh, that's the wire. So I'm the EasyCap plugged into the Rocketfish cables, and it is directly plugged into a USB hub, which is plugged into my Mac Mini. So pretty much, like I'm showing you here, all you need to do: plug it into the back of the PS3, and then plug the EasyCap directly into your computer. Okay, guys. So you've got your EasyCap set up on your PS3 or your Xbox 360, doesn't matter which, you can use EasyCap view Viewer for Xbox and PS3 as long as the S-Video or uh, AV cables are plugged into the EasyCap. And the EasyCap is also plugged into your computer. Anyway, so what you want to do is go to bentrask.com forward slash EasyCap, which is www.bentrask dot com forward slash easy cap the link is also down in the description below for you guys if you just want to go ahead and click that so this is for easy cap viewer point five point five which is basically for the dc sixty slash zero zero two for mac os x uh... this application works on mac os x ten point five point eight or later so if you're on mountain lion or lion uh... this is perfect for you if you have an easy cap and you want to record some quick gameplays for your youtube channel or whatever you use it for uh, you're going to see that you need to download a QuickTime component. Uh, you do not actually need to download the QuickTime component for your Mac because of the fact that when I installed it on mine, uh, when I tried to record some gameplay, uh, the app just crashed, and then I had to reboot the app, and then when I tried it again, the app still crashed. Once I deleted the QuickTime component, the app ran perfectly without any flaws in recording. So. I highly recommend not downloading the QuickTime component. You can try to see if it works on yours, or if there's any trouble with the application, uh, then you might need to download the QuickTime component. But I strongly urge you not to download the QuickTime component because it will crash your app. Well, at least it did for me. But based on experience, I do recommend that you do not download the QuickTime component. Now that that aside, let's go ahead and click download the application. It's not, it's not a very big application, it's only about a half a megabyte in size, so it's going to download to wherever it is on your computer, so we're going to show it in Finder. Now what you're going to see here is in a zip file. You're going to want to unpackage the zip file, and then you're going to get an application in your downloads right here. This is what the app is going to look like. It looks like a little TV with the AV cables and S-Video cable. What you're going to want to do is drag that into applications. Uh, I already have it in applications, so I'm going to stop. Uh, I already have it in my applications folder, and I will show you that I do right here. EasyCap is right here, and then I downloaded it. Oh, I dragged it. I'm sorry, not downloaded, but I dragged it onto my dock. So, link is in the description for you guys to download the EasyCap viewer. So, alright guys, now on to configure. 
now that you have EasyCap Viewer downloaded, let's go ahead and open up the application and configure the device. So make sure that your EasyCap is plugged into your computer. Make sure that your device is plugged into the EasyCap using S-Video or the AV cables. And then make sure you turn your device on and change the video settings to the proper video settings, such as PS3, go to display settings and change it to uh, the composite S-Video cable for video and then the uh, AV cables for audio output. For Xbox, you just go into the system settings, basically change the video settings to composite S video cables in order for it to go through the EasyCap and then onto your computer. So, once you open up the EasyCap, you're going to notice that it says USB 2.0 video capture controller. So, you're going to notice that it says a little, paw, a little play icon right here. You can click that and then it will actually show that your device is on and that you can view it right here. So, if you want to edit some configuration settings, go up to EasyCap Viewer and then hit Configure Device. So you're going to get a little pop-up menu right here and it's going to have a format of NTSC and then you're going to have all these other options. So if you're in the United States, I recommend using NTSC. If you're in uh, the United Kingdom or anywhere else, you can use PAL or any of the other options that best suit your, uh, your system or your computer. I use NTSC. So there's something called a de-interlace. Basically it changes the little the video settings of it so if you want to see what it looks like on none let's go ahead and do that as you see here it's kind of like jumping up and down up and down we don't want that that's bad video quality you can do line double um, it's still jumping we don't really want that we'll go to blur then it just kind of blurs your screen a little bit it doesn't really give it a great quality to the video as you see when I move it, it it's every the text and everything like that the image is kind of blurry so we're gonna go to alternate and again you get these lines and the screen blinks you don't want that that's also bad quality you can go to drop and then you notice that it's got jagged edges it's not very crisp and clear the best setting that I use on the easy cap is weave now it gives you the best clear video quality all the text is nice the image is nice and high resolution for you guys and everything like that so that's basically the best I don't mess with the brightness contrast color or tint settings basically because it's already good the way it is if you want to mess with the brightness a little bit I do have it up just a tad bit just because it just increased the brightness just a little bit for my eyes but contrast color and tint I recommend just leaving them leaving them alone unless the game play that you're on is needing of a contrast adjustment or color or tint adjustment or also a brightness adjustment so also you have the S video option you can change it to composite one two three or four basically if you have the yellow composite cable plugged in this is what you're gonna use obviously if I choose it it's not gonna it's not gonna show anything because I only have it on S video now you'll notice that if you change it to composite you'll still hear the audio that's because it's just for video so if you want the highest quality I recommend using S video now for audio you can actually use any microphone that you have or you can use the obviously the audio from the easy cap that is basically transmitting your PS3 or Xbox 360 uh, gameplay audio I have it on that then I just record my gameplay commentary over that and then I just down the volume a bit now you can turn the volume down obviously it's gonna lower the volume from the actual application itself now when you record it actually does not decrease the volume uh, and while you're recording it just decreases the volume on your computer uh, from the application so that's how you configure your device. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment down in the description on how to on how to configure your device. If you have any problems with configuring it, I can help you out as best I can if you comment or send me a message here on YouTube. All right, guys, now let's get in, into what everybody has been waiting for, the recording. So when you want to record something, you can actually edit the view uh, and the window and everything like that in, of your EasyCap. So to pause it, once you pause it just pauses the actual application screen and then once you play it back it'll actually unpause it and then you can resume normal gameplay now to start recording you can simply hit command s or you can just go to file start recording now when it starts recording you're gonna want to save it it's gonna ask you to save it and then video codec motion jpeg mpeg4 or raw ycbcr uh, the best high quality recommended setting is mpeg4 uh, click half frame rate stretched aspect ratio 
ratio, sorry, and then turn the video quality all the way up. If your computer can't handle it, you can douse down the video quality just a little bit. Uh, but for the highest quality settings and the highest quality recording, you're going to want to turn the video quality all the way up. So I'm going to choose to save it on my desktop, and I'm just going to choose it as test recording. So I'm going to go ahead and record. Now, I'm moving my PS3 screen a little bit so you guys know I can test the video quality and everything like that. Alright, so to stop recording, I'm just going to go to File, Stop Recording, or you can hit Command and the period button. So, I'm going to stop recording. As you hear, it recorded directly to my desktop, and the video quality is absolutely flawless. Um, and also, the sound is there. Like I said, if you turn the sound down in your configuration file, it will not turn the sound down in the actual video file. But anyway, that's pretty much what it looks like and how the video quality is with the S Video cable plugged in. Now, for EasyCap, if you want to view it at half, half size, meaning you can actually do that and then, you know, you have that to stream it to another, uh, if you're using it for a streaming client such as YouTube or Twitch TV or something like that, then if you go to actual size, that's how big the actual application video is. Now, if you want to go to double size, you can do that. Now, the newest feature that EasyCap has added is full screen. Now, in the top right-hand corner, you can hit the little two arrows to go into full screen, which is awesome, but the image, it's kind of... And it's kind of iffy on the image, but it's still great quality for a full screen image on S video, on the Easy Cap anyway. For a a low rate, for a low priced capture card, the Easy Cap on S video does well. So just hit Escape to exit full screen. Uh, if you want to enter full screen, just go to View, Enter full screen. And now, if you're on a different aspect ratio, if you're on the 4.3 aspect ratio, you can actually also change that, or you can change it to 16.9 and you can also crop it you can crop it to stretch to preserve 16.9 uh, you can um, uncropped uh, you can crop by 2% 2.5% 5% and 10% uh, you can stretch it uh, custom so I'm not I'm not gonna crop it I don't need it I have actual perfect video quality uh, turn floating on v-sync off smoothing off and show drop frame rates if you show drop frame rates it actually glows red on the edges uh, I, I think that's annoying to even see on the screen so I just turn it off but anyway that's how you set up easy cap viewer thank you guys for watching I uh, hope if you have any comments questions concern about the entire process please leave me a message here on this video down below in the, in the comments below or send me a message on YouTube in private message alright guys I'm gonna end this video like I said, thanks for watching. So